Hi everyone, I'm just on a training run, uh, aiming for three hours this afternoon, so I'm just having a little walking break. Uh, and while I was running, I was just thinking actually, so many people have been asking what kind of training I've been doing and how I've been preparing for this challenge. Just thought I'd make you guys a little video just to give you a little insight of what I've been up to. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's involved a hell of a lot of early mornings and late nights, um, but I've got into a quite good routine actually. Um, and I feel like I've been training so hard for this challenge and I'm actually feeling like really ready and really excited to get started. Um, I've been trying to focus more on um, time, just get my body used to being like for running for so long rather than distances. So early mornings I've been getting up, trying to do a few hours in the morning, five times a week. Last couple of weeks I've been doing six times a week. Um, and then at night times I'm going on the treadmill. Three times a week I'm doing like the uh, sprint stuff and the rest I've just been plodding on the treadmill um, and combining it with strength work. Probably trying to do core and leg strength work about three times a week. I think it's so, so important. I think a lot of runners forget about how important it is and how helpful it is. Um, but I know in 53 it helped me a hell of a lot. Um, I've had a little niggle in my knee, my left knee for the last few days, but it's, it isn't really anything. I think I'm probably overthinking it just because is so close to the challenge date. Um, yoga as well is massive. I can't recommend yoga enough. Like before 53, I was doing so much hot yoga. This time around, I haven't been doing as much hot yoga, but mainly just at home or in the garden or classes or whatever. Even if I can just squeeze in half an hour, ideally an hour is better, an hour and a half, but it just depends on, on time, work, stuff like that. Um, from now until the challenge, I'm gonna try and do a, a lot more hot yoga. Um, so I'm going to try and get to some more classes. More than anything, I think it just helps me prepare, me prepare mentally as well. It's so good. Um, and obviously, so for a challenge like this, mental strength is probably the most important thing. Um, so much time spent on a treadmill, I need to be mentally prepared. I'm just going to stay here at the sun, it's a bit bright over there. Um, yeah, so to be honest, the most stressful thing probably has been just sorting out logistics for this challenge and now everything seems to be falling into place. Um, I'm really feeling ready uh, and really excited. As crazy as that sounds, I know. Um, mileage wise, a lot of people have been asking what I've been doing uh, per week, but it really varies. I, I tend to, if anyone followed me on 53, listen to my body, that's the most important thing. Uh, so some weeks I can do about 100, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on how I feel and what other stuff I'm doing. Um, yeah, I think my biggest week over the last sort of month, a uh, couple of weeks ago, I think I did just under 350 miles in the week. Um, and obviously in about a week's time, I'm going to really start tapering. So a week before the challenge, I'll give my body loads of rest, ready for the big start. Um, any more questions on what training I'm doing or any advice on, on what kind of stuff's good, just uh, pop a comment below and I'll try and, I'll try and do a video for you guys. Thanks!